Hi, hi, hi. We're telling your followers that you started a live video. That's that that's a little message from Instagram. Yay, yay. All right, so I'm about to kind of try to tag in some people because or, um, y'all don't really want to miss this. I am going to do Hi. I am about to make some slime folks yes 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 what am I making slime I had a request to make slime and to do um, a slime tutorial I realized I have not done a slime tutorial in a little while so guess what that's what I'm doing right now we're going to have a little fun making slime now um, not only are we having fun like making it but we're going to Monty's gonna get me for a tag of her. Um, but we're going to um, really just talk uh, very quickly about um, some techniques and why they work, y'all. Okay, so I really want you to understand, you know, how slime works and why it even matters that I add the certain things that I'm going to add and the order in which I'm going to add them in. All right. So once again, hi, hi, hi. This is a requested video. I could say highly requested if I wanted to make it like fancy and stuff. <laughs> um, you know, but I'm really just not all that like uh, famous guys. Um, but yes, so I am making some slime folks. Please, please, please uh, make sure you like and whatnot. Also, I am going to do um, this as a replay on YouTube. I figured out a way to download my uh, IG videos and stuff. Um, so if you're watching this on the on the uh, YouTube replay, please show me some, some respect. Like and subscribe and all that whatnot. Okay, so yeah, um, tagged a few people in. I hope that y'all come in and um, chit chat and hang out with me. Um, in theory, yes, I'm about to say what 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 some of us have heard frequently on Sunday morning. Okay, I'm not gonna be before you long. In theory, okay, but um, yeah. Also, let's talk about do we like this new lifetime? I mean, how do we feel about it? Because uh, summer camp is coming up and also as you know we are rebooting our we as in Miss Steph Science Club um, we are rebooting our in-person learning experience uh, for various scientific uh, explorers all right and so for for those reasons it might be a little crazy for me to be trying to come on <laughs> at 2 30 Eastern Standard on Saturdays um as in you won't see me tomorrow I uh, well actually maybe maybe for a few minutes but you're not gonna get a lesson like I mean we had gotten used to doing a lesson a tutorial a whole entire thing not happening tomorrow but um we are going to uh get it done as far as um something now Okay, so I feel like let's let's let let's have some fun now. Um, let's uh, we make science fun. Ta, 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 ta. Okay, right. And of course, I definitely want to encourage you to um, to give y'all. So there's still definitely an opportunity to give. There's definitely an opportunity to support the work that we're doing. Um, I shared a Facebook memory earlier today on my various platforms and stuff uh, about how you all, right? Not only did we not give up, you all didn't give up on us. You made sure that we had what we needed last summer. And guess what, folks? I'm hoping that I can count on you once again this summer um, to rock out and really finish out this Power of 10 campaign. I mean, we've surpassed halfway, I want to say, yes. Um, and now we need to like go all the way, folks. We are launching on July 6th, Summer Science Club 2021, which happens to be our 10th science club um some as our 10th summer okay um yeah 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 and slime is one of the things that we will do <laughs> yes we will okay um shout out to 
um, single mom, mom queendom for requesting the slime. Okay, sis, you're probably busy right now, but you're going to watch this later um, today, I hope. All right, so here's the deal with slime. How do you make it? How do you get it to come out properly? How do you get it to not be a hot mess and not to be like too crunchy either? Because believe it or not, yes, slime can come out kind of a little crunchy, same thing. Okay, how do you keep it? All those things I'm going to talk to you about right now. Okay, remember, like, subscribe, share, all that whatnot, tell people about it. Okay, um, so inside of here, the first things, the, the first thing you need to think about is what kind of glue you're going to use. Over the years, I've used various kinds of glue. Um, and yes, we do add the glue first. But I want to be creative. Yes, you do. God bless you. I understand. It's a STEAM program. And so I like for folks to be creative and all that kind of whatnot. Actually, I'm going to tag in Betsy too. Um, you know, it, sure. Sure, 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 sure. I understand that people want to be creative and like do things in different order. However, with certain things, it's like doing hair. There are people who have like basic concept of doing hair. And then there are people who really have the technique and they really know what they're doing. Okay. Um, by the way, folks who do hair are scientists. <laughs> yes. Hello. Amen. Um, you do have to have really understanding of chemistry and textures and all kinds of things. And then you also have to be quite artistic and you really, frankly, are essentially an architect too. Um, shout out to um, Leash who does braiding and all kinds of fabulous stuff. Uh-oh. My, my, my spotlight kind of went down. Oh, but do we need her? Mm, maybe not. Um, I mean, if you're doing some box braids on somebody's head, you really have to plan things out. Okay? If you're doing an art project, right, you really have to plan things out. So all that being said, there is a specific order, and we do start with, like I said, the glue. Okay? Um, a the amount of activator that you're going to add later is going to be dependent upon the glue and upon the other things that you've put inside. So I have found over the years, and in particular recently, that I prefer a slime that is that has a kind of a mixed base. If you see inside of this bottle, <laughs> your girl's done mix some stuff together, okay? For, for y'all, for your tints of purposes, I've mixed clear glue with white school glue. Okay? I like mixing my glues together. The white school glue is going to give it quite a bit of strength, and the clear glue is going to help it stay stretchy and malleable. White glue and clear glue look different uh -huh, because they, like, are. OK, um, there's some differences in the way that they're made, in the way that they're manufactured. And they, and you notice with clear glue, if you've really looked at it, 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 it looks different. And when you pour it, it pours differently. OK, so your white glue is going to give you your structure and your clear glue is going to give you some of your your um, malleability. OK, so notice I don't have a whole lot in the bowl. Okay, the other thing is the type of container you make it in can make a difference because I'm going to use my bowl and how my compound is reacting to the bowl when I stir it to let me know how close to done it is. Okay, once again, shout out to all of you fabulous, awesome scientists out there. Miss Steph coming on. I have not seen y'all in a bit and I, I, you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying out this new, you know, Friday gig. Okay. Um, seeing whether or not Friday is going to do it for us or if we need to um, come on at another time. And also honoring a request that I got to make slime. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, next thing you want to consider is your coloring. All right. One of the things about food coloring is that it's not all created equally. Uh, it's not.
okay? Um, different food coloring mixtures provide a certain punch of pigment, okay? I'm getting into like some stuff here, okay? But it, it's science. I mean, this this is how I relate to artistic things <laughs> through a biochemist lens because like that biochemist, that's what I went to school for. Um, and I use that uh, superpower to make it fun for kids, okay? Um, but today, I'm not quite talking to the kids so much today. Today, I'm talking to, to the grown-ups for folks who want to do slime at their next thing. Like tomorrow, I'm um, doing, we're, we're doing a partnership event with my church and I'm doing the Kids Corner, okay, at an event, right? Um, so, hey, maybe you're that person in your church that wants to like do the kids corner and you want to make slime and every time you try to make slime it comes out eh, trash okay um or maybe you're an awesome um artist and you have an idea that you want to do some slime for again another kids event or maybe you're wanting to use it eh, eh, uh in a movie because there are a couple times when I've been watching some sci-fi movies and I'm like they made up some slime and and, and put it on that alien or like the slime is really the alien or like um sometimes I've seen stuff and I'm like that's oobleg <laughs> so you know it can be used for different things also we know that slime is a polymer and we'll talk later about the um polymerizing polymerization agent that we're going to use um but yeah so pigment right like what col how you're trying to hi 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 um you know how you're trying to uh, make it colorful Right. So we all know how I feel about purple. <laughs> um, so I'm going to break out. I'm going to do two drops. Two. Come on. There we go. And this is my gel food coloring. OK, this is pretty strong, folk. OK, this is not my little weak whatever. OK, and then I'm going to add in some pink. So as you can imagine, I'm going to get a little magenta-ish kind of thing pop in here. All right. Once again, Ms. Stuff here. Thank you so much for joining me. For those of you watching now live with me, hello, hello, hello. Put, put a little something in the comments. And for those of you watching later, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, hello, give to our like fundraising campaign. I mean, there are different things that you can do to participate and do what single mom um queendom did she made a request okay um i respond to requests as quickly as possible like i mean she asked for this on wednesday i think ciao correct me in the comments sis um and it's friday and it's getting done it would have been yesterday had i not had a very special event that i needed to do at bronx house shout out to all my bronx house people yes 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 actually let me take tag y'all um so yeah, I mean, we're having a good time here. Um, and Steph here coming on live, boom, um, to say hello and do a little tutorial. Um, I thought it was gonna be quick, but maybe I lied. So <laughs> maybe it's not gonna be quite as quick as I had originally intended. But today we're making slime. Now, again, so when you're looking at this, you can tell those of us who are real experienced in our glue in our glue game, you can tell that it's not 100 percent white glue and not 100 uh, percent clear glue. Right. You're getting a certain amount of translucency due to that clear glue situation, but you're definitely getting you're going to get something pretty stable because of the white glue. OK. Uh, going to add one more drop of my yes this actually does work <laughs> doing that I'm going to add one more pretty well maybe like two drops of my purple food coloring once again that's gel food coloring that's this stuff boom 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 my fave Anybody who's ever worked with me before knows that's my fave. And we buy, kid you not, one box of that. That's the whole summer. 
I mean, the, the kind of school year it's been because it's been remote and all that type of stuff. I mean, I've had to buy like more to send off to kids and all that. But typically I can buy that and that be the box that we use all summer long for like all the kids to do the stuff. Okay. All right. There we go. I'm liking that color a bit better. Yeah. How do we feel about that? Yes, 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 yes. Thank you so much for joining me. Ms. Steph here. We are rocking out. A little quick little IG live. Okay. I need to stop saying quick because it's not going to be that quick. I'm chilling. I'm real comfortable right now with y'all. Um, <laughs> um, so I'm just going to take my time. Right? IG live. I have inside of here my base. My major component to slime is glue to old school traditional slime is glue now you've seen me make all kinds of other types of slime but this is the kind that tends to be the hardest to make it's the kind that like everybody knows about but it's really um hard to make so yeah so today's video is really for the grown-ups in case you're wanting to try to make slime with the young scientists in your life okay now next couple of ingredients well actually next ingredient is absolutely optional but it is going to change the behavior of your slime if your young scientist is like i want puffy slime shaving cream this is an ingredient I use all the time. Like this is one of my like top. If somebody were to ask me, okay, I, I want to do science with kids at home. Okay. Or I want to do the activities you do on your channel. What are like the top five, top 10, 15, right? Things that you, I would tell people to get. This right here, uh -huh. shaving cream, definitely one of the top. Food coloring, some really good, strong, highly pigmented food coloring so you're not like squeezing a whole bottle every time you're like trying to make one activity baking soda vinegar some dish soap glue hello the things you can do with glue you can do more than make slime with glue okay some craft sticks some good bowls right and um this other stuff we'll talk about in a second. Um, but, you know, those are some top things that I would recommend somebody get if they're wanting to. Miss Thing over here, Miss Miss Light, just does not want to stay on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But that's okay because I'm going to just keep turning it on. Okay. Um, those are some of the different things that you can do. Let's turn my computer on because what it is, it's hooked up to the USB in my computer and all that type of stuff. And that's, yeah. That's why it keeps turning off because it's like I don't have any power. Okay. Anyways, whole entire sidebar about electricity and all that type of stuff. But, um, you know, some batteries as well, some Play-Doh. Those are some of the things that I would say, okay, this is a great arsenal. This is a little some, something you can – these are things that you can grab. And if you have those things, you can follow my channel and do quite a few of the activities, right? And or the kind of – alternative version of some of the activities all right so now now moving on to going ahead and adding this if you add too much of this as you can imagine and yes i'm rocking out old school barbasol you can use some other stuff but it has to be shaving cream and really frankly to be cost effective if you're going to use it for this or for some other science shenanigans and fun really the barbasol is really what you want to get and do not buy it on Amazon because guess what? This is one of the few things I'm not into buying on Amazon. Because if you buy it on Amazon, they're going to charge you a lot, like $13 for like two of these. $1.50 at Target. I have found it that cheap. Actually, <laughs> one summer, <laughs> your girl found it for like $0.90 cents at Target. <laughs> I was happy. Okay. Um, now, you know, I've paid as much as two fifty for it. But more than that, no boo. Okay. Anywho, as I was saying, as I interrupted myself, do not add too much of this to this. If you add too much, you're going to throw off the chemistry of it. Okay. So you'll see what I'm going to add. How much. And also kind of the way I'm holding it up. That's enough. Okay. Let me really make sure that you can see what I've got going on. I have a 
decent amount. I would say that my glue line goes up to here. Okay. You can make more. The bowl will hold more and you'll need more shaving cream. But And this is how much shaving. You see, I have just enough shaving cream to kind of put there. All right. If you add too much, you're going to have a structural integrity issue. It's not going to react properly. It'll be puffy, but bruh, <laughs> you will be making something closer to puff paint. And you've seen me make puff paint um, on my IG and my channel before, right? The puff paint, these are the ingredients of puff paint right here. And in actuality, when I'm talking about making puff paint, I definitely, definitely, definitely strongly suggest using white glue. You would think clear glue would, remember, your white glue is giving you structure, your clear glue is giving you malleability. And for puff paint, if you're wanting it to dry as puffy as possible, um, you absolutely are going to want, hi, 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 um, you absolutely are going to want um, to use your, your, your structure, right? Meaning you're going to want to use your white glue. Okay. Hey girl, Jen, you might want to try, this is something you, I don't know, do you do, um, hey, um, did you, Jen, do you do stuff for YPD for the little ones? Um, today, normally I am coming on on Saturday afternoon. I'm teaching to the kids. I'm making slime, but today I'm actually, it's, this is for y'all. <laughs> this is for the adults. Okay. Hi, curly head. Thanks for coming on. Um, so this is, this is a slime tutorial for adults. Y'all, um, I had in, a, in a, one of my, um, adult followers, uh, single mom queendom giving her a shout out ask for this ask for a slime tutorial um and i know a lot of adults shy away for, from slime one because they're like it's sticky it's, blah, 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 it's a mess and it's a pain but kids ah okay get you get you get you got you um but the kids they they like it okay it's you know especially for tactile learners and all that type of stuff they really enjoy it okay um and definitely, Jen, anybody who's like do the person that's doing YPD, um, feel free to give them my contact or send them over to my, uh, my IG slash my YT channel uh, so that they can learn how to make it. And I also have some um, church friendly videos, too, if anybody needs them. OK, so, yeah, next thing. Right. You notice how long it took us to get to here. Now, if I'm just making this with the kids, like it's fun and dance and all that type of stuff. And it doesn't take that this long to get to here. But I, for those of you wondering how to do it, I'm coming. I'm giving you detailed instructions, which is why this is taking so long. OK. Now. Your activator. Another thing, your glue will make a difference. Your activator, honey, <laughs> ah, will change your whole entire life. Okay, I'm going to use two because I'm a scientist and that's how I roll. Okay, um, the Elmer's Magical Liquid. This is not uh, this is not solely uh, the metallic one. I actually have spiked this <laughs> with some of the regular kind. Um, but I'm going to do the Elmer's Magical Liquid to take my slime almost there. And then, hey, Betsy. Um, and then I am going to use my personal activator, which has borax in it. Okay. Which has got borax in it. Okay. Here's the deal. I understand that borax is like a thing and everybody's like, it's not safe. Bruh. Um, let me let you in on a secret. Borax has done a lot of stuff. In fact... Uh, that's why Tide can be used as a slime activator is because it's inside of there. Okay. Additionally, the whole reason con the contact solution and baking soda activator combination works is because the um, there's 
a uh, there's boric acid inside of the uh, contact solution. And then when you add the baking soda, it has a hole. Uh-huh. Yes, girl. She's got some in the washroom. If I were you, I would. It's very, you buy one box and it's, you're set for like half your life. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, so borax, that borate ion is actually in quite a few of our products and it's not really toxic. It's not dangerous. It can irritate your hands if you're like just soaking yourself in it. But in low concentrations, it's not really harmful. And like I said, it, it's used for lots of stuff. Okay, so anywho, we've got this kind of slightly fluffy thing. Notice the color right now. Notice the color that this stuff is right now. Okay, remember I added more purple before I added the shaving cream, obviously. White ends up um, diluting things. And, and pushing, you know, like you, you lose some of the pigmentation, okay? Which is why I added more purple to it earlier, okay? But again, notice the color it is now, all right? So now I'm going to throw in, uh, well, not throw in. I'm going to mindfully add in some activator. Use less than you think you will need. I'll say that again. Use less than you think you will need. This is my magical liquid first. And yes, get you some magical liquid. For those of you who have never made slime before and you're like trying to make it with kids or something at some whatever church or birthday party or whatever event, bruh, make your life easy mm -hmm. and get you some magical liquid. Do that. That. Do that. If you learn nothing or remember nothing else from what I'm telling you today. <laughs> If you're trying to make slime at home without your favorite science teacher get you some version of the magical liquid yes it's expensive yes it's worth it okay don't pay too much for it though I went to two different stores today for it today because hunty child the art store was like charging me three dollars more than staples was oh no we don't um, okay so you notice what happened boom like I it's almost done Here's the mistake people make. They try to start playing with it now. They're like, oh, it's done. All I have to do is knead it. No, that's a lie. That's a lie. Okay, remember at the beginning when I was, well, earlier? Oh, hi. Hi, hi, Miss Jasper. It's nice to see you. Okay, y'all know how I am. Okay, so for those of you watching this on the replay and are like, who is she talking to? You know I'm talking to somebody in the comments. I'm live, hello. Okay, in more ways than one. Okay, so yeah. Notice how this is starting to form together. And like I said earlier, I was telling you that the that how it responds to the bowl is one of the things that I'm going to use to amen. Let me know whether or not it's done. Okay, right now it's still sticking to the bowl. If it's sticking to the bowl, guess what? It's going to stick to your hands and therefore not be done and not do the slime thing to where it like looks like it's sticking to you and then be able to come off. No, it won't do that if it's still sticking to the bowl. If you can do this and it's sticking to your bowl, oh, honey child, that's not even close to done. All right, so we're going to add a little bit more, do, do, to do, a little bit more of this. Okay. Now, that might, eh, that might be a little too much, but that's okay. Okay. Stir, stir, stir. Remember, I've got my, my special stuff in my back pocket. Okay. And that is really just some borax powder and some water. Well, it's, it's got a little few more messed up things in it. Okay. But that's borax powder and water. Okay. So, again, you're thinking, oh, it's done. I can take it out of the boat. No. No, 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 no. It's not done yet. Okay. Until you can, until it starts to come completely away from the bowl, this is not done yet. You see how some is still sticking inside of the bowl? It's not done. It's not completely reacted yet. Okay. What it should do is come all the way out of the bowl. But Miss Steph, it's not going to do that. Yes, it will. But why is it taking so patience? Okay. So, like, for those of you watching on IG, Jen, go ahead and um, 
throw down in the comments and let people know, like, say, the, the your latest. Promote yourself for a second. I have a, a dear friend who's awesome engineer and awesome at, like, all kinds of stuff. Um, so, Jen, if you're still watching, go ahead and throw um, a quick little advertisement down in the comments so people can come check you out for your t-shirts and all your various things as Esther as Esther okay all right so what did I tell you it would happen okay did I touch it yet no yes kneading is part of the process but Honestly, to tell you the truth, with the magical liquid, that actually, the need to do that is eliminated. And I guarantee you that this will show children, especially say like middle school children, the things that they can consider when they're thinking about employment. Can you imagine being the person that designed the magical liquid so that people could easily make slime? Okay. So this is how we can start teaching about um, engaging young people in STEAM careers. This is how we can connect, okay, the fun of slime, okay, the product that they're making, to um, employment. Those are those of us who are doing programs, adults that are working in programs that are encouraging um, young people to go into certain types of careers. This is a conversation you can have with them, okay? Somebody made this product. That w this was someone's like job at Elmer's. Actually, I don't know what their parent company is, but you understand what I'm saying, okay? Developing the glue, someone made it. Barbasol, someone made this. Okay, that was a chemist. That was a chemical engineer, most likely, that developed all these products that we're using, okay? All right, and I'm flexing, flexing my chemical engineer whatnot when I'm mixing these things up together. Now, one would say, this is done. Okay, it is. If you have a young person that for whatever reason, their body chemistry and their body temperature, which I've found, which happens, my kids that run hot, are going to need a little bit more activator. You're going to have to take their slime further too far. Okay, it's going to seem too far for some of the other kids, the kids that run kind of cold. This is done. They can play with it. The kids that will be aggressive enough with the slime, this is done. However, again, for some of my kids who run hot and might not might be kind of overly gentle with the slime, you are going to need to add in just a little bit of my Miss Steph's magical liquid. Okay, and once again, mm, borax, borax powder, and some water. I mean, you can really just do. I'm trying to remember what I added in that. I, I'm always really diluting it, but even one, just, just one tablespoon of borax powder to actually this much water would do it. Th this stuff is stronger just because I'm using it and I, I, I know the strength and I know what's going on there. Okay. All right. So we're almost done. All right. So now if you want to kind of really play with it and do like a full on demonstration and all that kind of whatnot for them, right? You can like pour it out of the bowl that's what I did on um, Wednesday when I was hanging out over at sugar babies shout out to my sugar babies um, scientists right I like spread it out on the table and then I went along and I cut it for them and I passed it out okay so here's the deal notice how when I touch it like this all gently it gets everywhere however when I'm more aggressive with it and I get into it I'm able to really manipulate it and do what I want with it. Okay. Hey girl, here's your slime tutorial. I promised <laughs> I'm at the end, but you can, you can, you can go back on the replay. Okay. Um, but yeah, any, anybody that's watching right now, that's got a business or anything like that, go ahead and put your um, stuff. Um, yes, girl, just watch the replay. Go ahead and put your, um, information about your business in the comments and stuff so that people can know what you do um, shout out to engine design she does uh, t-shirts and um, any of you who've seen my um, black power fist t-shirt 
Um, I know I've taught class in that t-shirt a couple of times. She made that t-shirt. That's one of her designs. I bought that from her. Um, Single Monk Queendom runs this like awesome organization. Um, I want to say you're based in NYC, right, sis? I want to say you're here. Um, and she teaches um, folks about uh, domestic violence as well as encouraging single moms to be the most excellent and awesome that they can be. All right. Um, Curly Head Rose was on her earlier and she is a young woman who does dance and is going to have her um, own cosmetics line one day. She's one of my science students that um, take has taken what I've taught her and has like become a whole like an entrepreneur. Right. So she's she's done the stuff that I was just talking to you all about. Right. Once again, Ms. Steph here. Today's live is really for my adults who are wanting to do some activities with young people and in particular slime. OK. Slime is actually very good for tactile learners and folks who just need um, time to relax. Right. You notice how this is this is very malleable. OK. It's not chunky. No, no, no. Okay, it's quite fluffy because we've got our shaving cream inside of it. Okay, let's talk before I um, log out as far as what's inside of here. Y'all, once again, thank you for joining me. It's Ms. Steph, and I'm going to walk you through all of what's inside of this slime that I made today. I have my special glue mixture. Yes, it's inside of this bottle, but I have um, two types of glue, clear glue and white glue. The white glue gives you the structure. The clear glue gives you that like nice stretch. All right. I also had two colors just because I felt like adding two colors in. But specifically, the type of food coloring I like to use when I do f do these types of things, I like to use. I didn't wave at you. Sorry, hon. I like to use this gel food coloring. Gel food coloring is your friend. If you're thinking of following my videos and doing the activities at home, the gel food coloring is going to make it so you're adding one, the couple of drops that I add instead of your whole bottle because you'll be buying food coloring all the time. Another thing that I have inside of this particular slime, some shaving cream because I decided to make it puffy and to demonstrate that for you should you decide to make puffy slime with your scientist. Major, major important ingredient. So our two important ingredients in, in slime would be the um, base compound, which is always our glue. Okay, there's other ways to make slime, but really the stuff that the kids are really thinking of when you say slime is going to be the glue-based stuff. Okay, and our polymerization agent. This is our chemical that turns glue from sticky fun mess okay to stretchy slime fun okay the thing that's happening chemically is that we're forming a polymer okay one of the reasons why I love doing this activity as a science teacher is that you it's so easy to dis demonstrate for children that um, polymerization reaction okay you're taking glue molecules and you're having instead of the glue molecules just being out there they then link together Okay, hello, amen. That's a whole other thing that could be even something if you're doing a leadership course, doing slime could teach them that concept of linking, okay, and how strong something can be when it's a chain linked together instead of just separated, okay? All right, so your polymerization agent links the molecules together and creates slime instead of the sticky glue. So notice how this comes easily off my hand. This is not sticking to my hand. The stuff that you're seeing on my hand, you might be seeing some of the pigments, okay? And guarantee you, <laughs> if you use blue, ooh, um, your hands will probably be blue for a little while. <laughs> so just be warned. Let the children pick whatever color they want, but warn their um, parental units that they might have blue hands for a little while if they choose blue or green. Green because... Green is uh, yellow and blue together, right? Um, so yeah, all right. So 
Now, let's talk storage. Okay, we've talked about what's inside of it. Oh, one more thing. I had a little bit of my Mist of Slime Activator, and that's just the Borax Powder and water mixed together. And that's, I added at the very end to make sure that my slime was completely formed. The magical liquid, the magical liquid is the thing that um, will help us, you know, form the slime and help us help it not be like chunky slime. Okay. Um, the magical liquid has been excellently formulated, really is a really great product. And it comes in all kinds of stuff. It's like you can get if if you're doing like some type of strawberry theme, if you're doing a metallic theme, I mean, it comes in all kinds of different versions of it. All right. Um, but that's the thing that makes it the easiest. So that's makes would make your slime single mom like come out great every time. OK, but the thing you want to do is not to pull it from the bowl too soon. OK, so this activity teaches self-control. OK, self-control, patience, all of those things. This making slime can teach color theory. I mean, it teaches so many different concepts, which is why I try to have my fellow educators and then, of course, the parents that I serve in um, program be patient with us when we do it. I don't do slime all the time, okay, <laughs> with my students, but it is an activity that's worthwhile doing. It's, it's worth doing. It teaches a lot of different concepts, especially if you're willing to lean into said concepts. All right. So, do, 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 do. Right. You notice how this is still remaining fluffy because I added just enough of the shaving cream to give me this fluff. Now. You're telling me you're getting ready to um, sign out, Miss Stuff, and you didn't tell me how to store this stuff. <laughs> it can be in this container. Believe it or not, this stuff actually can, I've left it on my counter, okay, for a couple of days. If you leave it on the counter for a couple of days and it's made right, and again, another thing, they put some extra stuff in this this particular compound that makes it it doesn't dry out as quickly i mean there's a lot that they've put inside of here lots of um really really strong chemical engineering went into this product okay but after a couple of days you need to put this airtight inside of an airtight container unless you add something else into it like cornstarch or whatnot it's probably not going to go bad Okay, as far as like rot or start to be smelly, yeah, like oobleck would oobleck. Oobleck is like a one day thing. Don't play with that uh, the next day, y'all. Okay, because it does have um, some biological things in it, and therefore will go bad. The the, the, the microorganisms like to eat cornstarch. Okay, but anyways, I digress. I'm trying to get out of here. This be fine on the countertop for a couple of days. I promise you. I kid you not. You'll take it out. Um, just like this, like you can leave it in the open air. If you, when you lift it up, okay, I usually lose this, use, use, leave the spoon in it and I lift it up with the spoon and on the, uh, the underside, there's enough of the underside that once you kind of mix it together, it's fine. But like I said, you can put it in a Ziploc bag, airtight container, like some type of, um, Tupperware, um, and that will keep, maybe kids can play with it for a week or so. After a while, throw it away. Because it's like going to get gross just from them touching it. Right? Because your hands, in actuality, no matter how much you wash them. Hello? Which is why we have to wash our hands so much right now. No matter how much you wash them, there's always going to be some type of something on them. Okay? So, this activity is safe for anybody who can listen to instructions. Okay, so if you've got a two-year-old that knows how to not put things in their mouth, they can absolutely do this activity. Okay, two years and up. And you can even do this with high school students. Or you can also use it for different leadership lessons for adults too. All right, folks, thank you so much for watching. Sis, thank you for the idea. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, as I mentioned, if I go live tomorrow, it'll just be a quick little hello at our live, e at our in-person event that we're doing. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. 
I know I'm on IG, so you might be wondering why I'm saying subscribe because I'm going to upload this to YouTube later. <laughs> okay, um, definitely check out. Please tell folks about what we're doing. Check out our website and all that type of stuff. Check out Engine Design. Check out Single Mom Queendom. Check out Curly Head Rose. She even has her like own YouTube channel. She's fabulous, guys. Um, and a few other people on here. Um, check out all the different things that they're doing. Uh, Ufront Media. He's got all kinds of cool stuff um, that he's got going on. I want to say he's got an event next Friday. Um, check it out, folks. Support, support, support. Um, Last thing I'll say, www.tfempowerment.org. Learn more and support there. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.